Hey there everybody, Deep Tunster here, playing some more Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap. Last time we got all the library books for library, and as a reward he dropped us into this dank, smelly dungeon to get whatever item he's supposed to be giving us. My guess is the flippers, that would be the most logical choice since we need that to get into the Temple of Droplets. I think I saw that when the first time we went to Lake Hylia, so we'll just grab one of this mushroom and things are pretty linear so far. It's kind of funny how that mushroom just set me right on the edge of the screen for a little bit. Mm, can't do much there yet, so we're just going to go inside. Ah, and fight these things, whatever these are. Um, I don't know, I'll just equip the Pegasus boots for now, I suppose. Oh, okay, you just have to get on the side of these and hit them? That's not too bad. As long as you dodge their little horn thing, or... Psh, I've completely forgotten, forgotten the scientific term for what those things are. Mouth parts, mouth pee, I don't know. You get the idea. And we're about to kill these things. It looks like you can only damage them while they're shooting those out like a boomerang. What the heck? The screen, like, flashed black there for a sec. I don't know if you guys are going to see that or not. But these things are dead. We get our item. Finally, we get our item. You got the flippers! Press A to glide through water and B to dive. You can even dive? That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Why, it all makes sense now, doesn't it, boy? Yes, it does. I kind of had that figured it out at the beginning of the game. There goes the screen flickering again. What the heck? Did I just get 100 rupees for diving? Or 50 or whatever that is? It's crazy. Alright, time to swim around, I guess, and do some searching. This might actually be the same area that's tied to that heart piece, and I'd really like to get that. I'd really like to get that chest, too. I don't really have anything that can set it on fire, though, so... Maybe for another time. I could try a bomb on it, but I doubt that will work. I think I tried a bomb on some ice thing earlier, and that didn't work. Okay, I guess we're going through here. Ah! Oh my gosh! So we're in, like, this... It's not really a sewer system, just kind of... Aqueduct area in Hyrule Town. Oh man, these flippers are going to open up so many areas, you just don't even know. Or maybe you do know. What the heck do I know, man? Oh uh, well, let's just follow the river to our destination. Oh, uh, that's not going to take us anywhere. That's sad. All that searching for nothing, man. And it looks like you can only get off in these little shallow areas here, which sort of makes sense. So maybe I should go to that opening here. It's probably the way out. Uh, there's so many things I want to do with these flippers now. I just I can't decide. There is that heart piece in the Minish Woods. Like the very first heart piece I ever saw in this game. That I couldn't get till now. I might go there. There's just so many other things. Oh, okay, I can just get off right here. Nice. Alright, so let us find a way to get big. I think we can just use this pot up here and that should be good. And we could just warp the Lake Hallia right now and go to the dungeon, I suppose. Since it didn't look like anything else was really guarding that place, it was just kind of an island out in the middle of the water. But there are a few more things I'd like to do first. Kind of feels like we just got out of a dungeon, really. Haven't had to do too much to get to the next one here. But I could be wrong. Um, do I just want to warp to the Vinish Woods? I might just take the trip there, because it, it wasn't too far from the entrance, if I remember correctly. That'd be nice, because we'll have another heart going in this next dungeon. Like, we need it, though, jeez. So, so that, I never got to that Goron, dude. I really don't know how I can. Maybe the flippers will help me somehow? I don't know. So here's the entrance I was thinking of, and the heart piece is gone. I already got that. I got that one, man. What am I thinking? Well, you know, there is that one by uh, the mayor's house I can get. But that's going to be a bit of a trip, so I'll just beat you guys there. Alright, so there's the heart piece in question. I think all we have to really do to get it is head right down here and grab it. Oh, jeez, that thing doesn't like me, does it? 
Is this like a shortcut to another area of the Lake Hylia? Oh, there's this little tree house here I could check out, I guess. Man, there really is a lot of stuff to do. I really can't think of too much more, though, before going to that next dungeon. Oh, look at this! Are you kidding me? That has to be the quickest two heart pieces I've ever gotten in succession. Oh, I think that's the last heart piece I get for that first row. It's usually ten hearts to a row, if I remember correctly. The true Master Swordsman of Hyrule Wave Blade. Alright, let's do it. Let's learn another sword technique. Peril Beam? What? Let's have only one heart left. Oh, okay, jeez. I'm not going to be able to use that much then. Last ounce of strength to swing your sword, that's all. Okay. This could be useful, I guess, in some situations. I'm kinda eager to see what it looks like. So you can go ahead and possess my body, man. Oh, it's huh? This is very odd, because you usually don't get that until you have full hearts, but in this game you can only use it with one heart. Hey! Give those back! Dude! Dude! You better give me my health back, man. Oh my gosh. Okay, good. My goodness, man. You had me scared there for a sec. You had me legitimately frightened. Now I'm gonna open the shortcut. Okay, there's the warp point. Right there. Okay, nice. Um, before I head to the dungeon, though, I am gonna make... Go back to the cottage real quick and just... There's this hole down here. It's just bugging me. And it's going to keep bugging me unless I go check it out. I think it might be the way to those two chests. That's my guess, so I'm just going to go down here real quick. Ah, uh, nice. And I can swim in this little shallow area while I'm small. Oh, it's to here. This is a lot in my thought. It's just a shortcut back to the Minish Woods, then? Wait, what? I guess you can swim in the deep water, too. Okay. Ah, crap. Oh, man. Ice physics. Gotta be careful here. Ooh. Ah, man. Don't go too fast. There's... Oh, I thought that was a wall master for a sec. Nope. Just a falling slug. All right. Ah, crap. I went... I approached it too fast. What can I say? These slugs aren't making things any easier, though. Really curious to see if this in what's in this chest now, man. Yeah. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, so many slugs! It's just a kinstone piece. I don't know. It's a bit of an effort just for some, just for a kinstone piece, man. I don't know about that. I wonder. I haven't really given too much thought about this, but I wonder if the color of the kinstone piece has any effect on the reward that you get. Because it kind of seems to me that the red kinstone pieces are, like, really important. And I don't know why I get that impression, but... I don't know, it's just the way I feel. But enough about that. I just keep swimming along here, and I think it's about time to go ahead into that Temple of Droplets. Why not? Let's get another dungeon under our belt, shall we? First, I gotta turn big. I wish I was big. And then my wish is granted. All right, call me Tom Hanks, man. Um, okay, so I think we just... Oops, that's... We just have to follow that shortcut I opened up, and that should take me over in that general area. I mean, I can keep looking around here. There's just so much to explore. Like that right there. Can I dig through that? I mean, no, but <laughs> just finding out is fun, you know? I think this is it right here. What? Is this the place? That's kind of a weird way to enter a dungeon. But I guess I'll take it. Alright. We are in the Temple of Droplets, guys. Brr, chatter, chatter. I'm freezing in here. If you don't find that element quickly, I'm going to turn into a hat sickle. Alright, I'll just stand here for about a good 30 minutes. See if that shuts them up. Oh, wow, we have the boss door right here in front of us. Isn't that nice? I guess we can't forget where that is. This floor is made out of ice. Well, yeah, now you notice. <laughs> Not to freeze your backside on the floor, my goodness. Whoa. That was... 
very odd experiment in momentum there. <laughs> okay, so we need a key for that. There's this block in the middle that's kind of mysterious. Man! This music is different from the other dungeons, and it's just rocking right now. Hmm. I wonder if we get a mirror shield in here. That'd be nice. I guess we'll find out eventually. I'm gonna kill these guys just to make sure they don't drop a chest or anything stupid like that. Alright, we're good. Okay, we got some levers. Oh man, that key is trapped in a big block of ice. Oh, maybe this will help. Can we melt the ice with that light? Hey, the sunlight shining through. Oh, it's so nice and warm. I can feel myself starting to defrost again. You're not even in the sunlight, man. So now, how are we going to get that block? It's worth a shot, I guess. Nah, no, it's not even going to reach it. Maybe there's a hole I can fall through up here. Yes, okay. Man, again, this just reminds me of Link to the Past, where you have to make the light shine through. And blinds hide out. Looks like something's frozen. I'm going to go take a look. Uh, I already have a good look here. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, no! Oh, this is just like the block puzzles in Goof Troop, and I just messed this one up bad. I messed that one up bad. All you have to do is push it down and then to the right, and you got it. So let's give that another try. Okay, good, it resets. It has to if you want to get this thing, man. Whoops. Try to position myself here, there we go. Down, and then right. And there's our key, alright. Doing good so far. Holy crap, I went down to that bottom right area really fast. Gotta love ice physics, man. In games, there's a lot of glitches you can do with ice physics, too. Ah, crap. Unless it's... Oh my gosh, those freaking power balls coming out of the freaking fire. Not these guys. These guys are so annoying. Even the sound they make is really annoying. Well, the only way I see to go here is down, so that's where we're going. Oh, no. This is going to be Ice Block Puzzle Central, isn't it? Oh. Really? There's no way. There's no way you can get the big key this fast. There's got to be some sort of catch, man. Let's see what this does. Oh, wait, I want the, I want the, I want the sunlight, man. Give that back. Ah, get to the lever link. I mean, there must be a way that you can't do this puzzle yet. Because I'd be able to fight the boss after getting this big key. Might have to just keep searching around for an item. Oh man, this is going to take so much thought. Well, I think it's safe to say that... Well, don't assume anything yet. Because you can push these blocks over here to help this one get some leverage to be pushed through here, or to be pushed here more than likely, and then, hmm, call me crazy, but I think I just solved this, guys, so we'll push this one to the left, we want this one to go to the left, and then, whoops, oh my gosh, positioning yourself on this ice, so hard. Okay, like that. Oh, wait. Ah, I didn't want to push that one to the left yet. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I almost freaked out there for a sec. Is this one left? You see it yet? Do you see it yet? You probably do. I've probably known it since I've been in this room. So I think we're good to just push this to the left. And hopefully it gets caught in this little lever here. Okay, it does. All right, we got it. We have got the big key. I can't believe I'm saying that when I've been in this dungeon for like four or five minutes. But there it is. Now the question is, is there an item in this dungeon? You've got to be kidding me. That's all the rooms? How do I get back? So it looks like there'd just be an endless loop. After going through here. Isn't there an item that takes you back to the beginning of the dungeon? 
I mean, yeah, obviously, it's called resetting the game, but... <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna see if this takes me back to the beginning of the dungeon. Nope. Hm. How would I get back there, then? Oh, man. Can't be caught this early, can I? Can I? I mean... I could save? And then... Reset the game? I guess that's really the only thing to try right now, but that'll be for next time. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.